preparedness people and welcome to the big prep my name is Cynthia and today we're gonna talk about trying to get $200 out of the bank out of the ATM I didn't want to go inside I didn't want to do anything I just wanted $200 out of the ATM so if you're ready press the like button and let's get right into it bank here there virtually anywhere this is an ATM where you can do things but sorry not available <laughs> okay the atm is currently unavailable it doesn't say there's broken it doesn't say that there's any sign on it saying it's out of money or that there's a technical issue it's just literally currently unavailable i go to branch number two let's go to that video i went to the other region's bank and there's no atm anymore and the branch is closed. What the business? What in the world? So let's see if they still have an ATM, which I don't think they do. Well, let's look. Nope. Look, everything's empty. We'll all be ding danged. Nope. Go to our downtown branch in Ocala and that's lovely. We're consolidating, what does that say? We're consolidating. Wow. At this point, after visiting number two, I'm starting to think of some headlines that I've seen recently in the news. I'll pop those here. Here are some random headlines that I found when Googling US banks are closing branches. I feel like rural people will be affected more severely than people who live in a city and have access to a lot of different branches of a bank. I also feel like this is another step in the march against cash. I like using cash for transactions and the lack of accessibility to bank branches and ATMs will further that war on cash. Location number two is approximately 20 miles from my house. Location number one, 10 miles. Location number two, 20 to 25 miles away from my house. So now I'm 25 miles away from my house and I am looking for a bank location so that I can take out $200 out of my bank account. That is money that belongs to me. Let's see footage from location number three. Here is my third attempt to go to the bank this morning. Good sign. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Regents Bank. Third try. Location number three is approximately 35 miles from my house. So I had to drive 35 miles to find a working ATM at the bank that I bank with, Regents Bank in Florida. I am not very happy about that. And the fact that the ATM just said currently unavailable, what? I, I don't like that. I have a feeling that in 2022, we're going to see more of this currently unavailable or bank branches closing. I'm seeing like scuttlebutt on YouTube and the internet where people are driving up to branches and they may have one person working, the ATM's empty, like the branch is just randomly closed with no indication of when they may reopen. This makes me rethink my strategy for 2022. I used to do all cash envelopes, like all, I took my entire paycheck out, except for what I had to pay with bills online and do cash envelopes. I am seriously considering going back to that because that just makes me annoyed and irritated. That's my money. And if I want to go to an ATM, I think I should have the right to do it. I may sound weird and whatever, but I'm not liking that at all. And $200 is not a lot of money to get out of an ATM, especially with prices today. Let me know in the comments down below what's going on in banking in your area. I really want to know, have you had any disruptions in service? Have you seen anything or heard about anything in your area? Thank you for watching. And remember everybody, I'd rather be a year early than a day late.